In this video, we're going to learn how to spread columns in a data frame in pandas in order to go from data that is in a long format into data that is in a wide format. So we're going to start by loading in some data here and putting it into a long format. So that's what this is doing. And we'll just take a look at that data. We can see in this data there is a saga column. And for each different value that column takes on, the character is replicated and has a different value associated with it based on the value of that saga column. We could instead represent the saga column as several different columns, one for each level that it takes on. And then with Eden, each of those columns, we'd have the associated power level. That would essentially be a wide format versus this tall format that the data is in right now. So to do that, we can use the pivot function in pandas. So we're going to take our data, say data.pivot. The index is going to be a list of the columns that are not going to be changing. So we don't want to change the character or uniform color columns because those aren't associated with what we want to do. We just want to change the saga column and its associated value, the power level. So for the columns, these are what is holding the columns we're going to be spreading. So the columns here is called saga. And then the values are the associated values. And in this case, that was called power level. So we'll put that argument in. When we run this, we should spread this data out according to this saga column. We should see one new column for every single different unique value here. So we should see one, two, three, four new columns, and then each of these associated values will be put next to them in a new column. So let's run this and see that we do have four new columns now. The saga has been spread out into its four different potential values. And now we have our columns that weren't changing here as indexes for this new data frame. Now the result here is a bit of a weird object because it's a multi-index data frame and those can be a bit troublesome to work with. So if we want to turn these indices into normal columns and get back kind of a more typical data frame, we can just do that by removing the multi-index with the reset index fun function. And also we can rename the columns to none. So we can remove this saga label here. So we'll just show how to do that here. We're going to say data.resetindex that will turn these indices into essentially actual columns instead of index to index rows. And then we're just going to get rid of that saga label here. So when we run that, we will be left with a single normal data frame here with all of our data spread out. Now, all the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found the video useful, you can drop a like or hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.